But if you can call me Mark, I am with, he doesn't need an introduction, but I have to, Mr. Ernest Borgnine, the Terry! Woo! Funny people, funny people. <laughs> A lot of people here at the Chiller, my friend. How do you like the fan base coming up, signing all day? What do you think of this? The only thing I can think of right now is how wonderful all you people are. Wow, nice. Really, uh, they're the most beautiful, wonderful people oh, I've ever met. Thank you're just you, marvelous, thank every you, one sir. of you. And as you're a just, writer for fans, I mean, really, they're just nice. And they were, yesterday they were standing out there in the cold, and we're shivering in here. And they and must be yes, shivering sir. out there. Yes, sir. By golly, I tell you, they, Good they for you. stayed right with us. And They're nice. Just so wonderful, and I, I can't thank the people enough. Good, I'm so glad, and I will print that. And you are an icon in our history. You've done ah, everything. Forget the icon bit. Let me ask you, how'd you get the acting bug? What, what did it per personally for you? What, <laughs> what got you involved, sir? Well, I put 10 years in the Navy. Yes, sir. And I came home after World War II, and I, after a couple of weeks, my mother looked at me and she said, well, one of those kind of wells, you know. And I said, oh, yes, get a job. <laughs> you know, in the Navy, you're kind of easy because, you yes, know, you didn't have to do too much. Sure. You had to do your day's work. Anyway, uh, I went out looking for work, and I watched all these young old men walking into these factories up there around New Haven, Connecticut. Sure. And they were all uh, you know, bent over, stupid. I said, me in there for <laughs> 10, 12 hours a day? Oh. That's crazy. Yes, sir. So I'd take my lunch and I'd go to a movie or do something, you know. And one day I came home and I guess I was pretty disgusted about it all. <laughs> and she looked at me and said, what's the matter, Ernie? And I said, Mom, for two cents I go back into service, do my other 10 years and get a pension at least. I'd have something. Sure. And out of a clear blue sky, she said, looked at me, she said, have you ever thought of becoming an actor? Wow. So you always like to make a damn fool of yourself in front of people. Why don't you give it a try? <laughs> and I looked up and I saw those golden doors open and I saw that light come down. Don't laugh, it's true. That's amazing. And I said, help me, Hannah. I said, by golly, that's when I'm going to be. Because she hit it right. I don't know why she did it. But my mother was a countess in, in former life, yes, in sir. her life. And it was frowned upon by royalty to, you know, any royalty to go on a stage. Sure, sure. So evidently she took it out on me. <laughs> and, and it was the easiest thing in the world. Outstanding. You and know? as we fans know, you've done such an outstanding and excellent job. Well, any particular favorite role that, or roles no, that... I get asked that every right. single sure day, you believe love it or not. But I, every one of my pictures I love, uh, and uh, I, I have a, a, an acute fascination for every one of them because of the fact that, you know, my mother said to me when I was a kid, you know, she said, you know, if you, if you can make one person happy in a span of 24 hours, you've accomplished a great deal. Oh, very nice. And what more can I make people happy oh, here? In a span They're of making seconds. me happy, too. Outstanding. Because We've they're saying standing. to me, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. My goodness, they're the ones that paid the money to see it. Right, sure. And this is what keeps me in business. It's mutual admiration, exactly. for sure. So you can imagine how how sure. wonderful it is to be able to travel the world and have people it. say, yeah. gee, boy, you were great in that. <laughs> and you were, yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, my father loves you. And I, what more can you ask? Oh, my God, yes. You've got such a spanned career. Now, when you go to conventions, you come out, you, you do your signing. We write for Autograph Magazine. Is there anything that you collect, or do you collect autographs of anyone? I collect, uh, I collect uh, old wives. <laughs> uh, I collect uh, stamps. Used to collect stamps. Okay. I used to collect everything, as you can imagine. Yes. Uh, I've gone through uh, deserts and collected uh, lightning, a, a sand fused by lightning. My I collect God. everything. Very good. You know. Very good. Uh, yeah, it, one day I was up in Villa de Leyva in Colombia. Uh, we were up about 10,000 feet. Wow. And I'm kicking these stones aside, and I'm saying to myself, what are these things that look odd? I picked one up, and it was a, a lobster, a petrified lobster. Then I found clams, and I found all kinds of things. 10,000 feet in the air. 
Oh it goes to show at one time it was all underwater. Yes, sir. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I so love it. You can it. imagine, you oh know? Oh, my God. That's fantastic. No, I'm, I'm kidding when I say yes, old wives. Of course, but of course. I've been married a couple of three times, five <laughs> to be exact. Okay. But my w present wife, God bless her, I love her to death. Good. And we've been married now for 35 years. Fantastic. Believe it or not. Congratulations. Her man. name is Tova, and she appears on QVC, as everybody else knows. Yes. And I tell you, I, we're, we're very happy together. Good. Thank God I finally you found one. Right, and you look happy together. Very Absolutely. Good. Yes, you do. Now, hobbies, off times, what do you like to do when you're downtime? You're having fun. My wife bought me a little car called the Smart Car. Okay. And it's got two people, seat, seats two people. It's a three-cylinder three, en a three -cylinder engine, and I go roaring around Hollywood with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a bus, a 40-foot bus. But I sold it after I after I reached 89, <laughs> for the simple reason I said it's getting too big for me. <laughs> Other than that, uh, if I have a ball, and uh, I love reading good books, yes. and I love uh, uh, seeing good pictures, which you don't see very much anymore. Yes, sir. And um, I love uh, going around and meeting people. I think this is what this is what an actor should do in order to be able to give the proper kind of personization per, yes, person person Personalization. make a personality yes, out of sir. it you know yes, what i mean sir. and and a lot of people don't think of that you know they they think oh well i'm just going to play them but you no, got to play heart these is people definitely in this you really hey, listen. your heart is in it with every person that comes by Absolutely. we've been watching and it's so great I, I make it a point to shake their hand and i thank them very much Hey, they're standing out there in the cold, and I'm standing here in the shade, yeah. you know, <laughs> taking it easy and signing for them, for and that. I think yes, it's sir. wonderful. God bless you for saying that. Thank you. Because we're all fans, and we really? write for a magazine that deals with just that. <laughs> Thank you. Anything, any last words you'd like to say to the readers and fans of Autograph yes. Magazine? Yes, yes, be happy. Be happy and be kind. And you know, there is such a thing as gentleness. And if you can be gentle with your fellow man, that's what it's all about. And it, that's what makes life so wa valuable and so wonderful. Because if you can be gentle with yourself, you can be gentle with everybody. Absolutely. So, God bless you all. Oh, well put, Mr. Ernest Borgnine. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.